Hello there ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between. Tactical Bacon 0 here bringing you a quick look at a game called The Swapper. The Swapper is a indie side-scrolling platformer puzzler in the style of Portal slash Limbo, I guess? I'm not really sure, I've never really seen anything like this. However, it has a very familiar feel. It feels like like I know how it works once I start playing. Anyways, this game is published by Facepalm Games. Uh, made The team is made up of four indie developers. Some interesting things about this game. The world, the level design, is made entirely out of clay. No, seriously, it, it's actually made out of clay. Uh, the atmosphere is amazing. Uh, the narrative is written by um, Tom Jubert, writer of Penumbra and FTL. Um, Alright, so the game, let's go to the options menu as always. Uh, volume, pretty uh, standard. Mouse sensitivity, that's very important because you will need some twitch movements to be able to play the game correctly. Subtitles, full screen, V-Sync, resolution, very, very customizable. For a side-scrolling platformer, this is just about all I could ask for. Uh, rebindable keys, you are fully able to rebind every key you want, however, there is no controller support. It will become very apparent why there is no controller support once I start playing the game. Um... Yeah, so it has support for multiple users. Um, I am the only user on my computer, on my Steam account, which is cool if you have someone sharing a Steam account and you want to save your progress between games, whatever. All right, let's jump on in. All right, so this is where I left off. Let's take a look at the map first off. The map and level design is very much in a metroidvania style where it is a very very large map with certain areas that you can access and certain areas that you cannot access because you either don't have the knowledge or you don't have the required number of orbs or you just haven't figured out the puzzle yet. Um, but yeah, it, it's a very large, large map when you get down to it. Um, yeah. So as you can see, I, I guess you might not be able to see, but everything in the environment is made entirely from clay. Um, oh, that's a, that's a special rock. I'm going to try to avoid story as much as possible, however, I have not played this far into the game yet, so if story does pop up, uh, there's some spoilers for you, haha. <laughs> um, alright, so this is a puzzle right here. The game is based on puzzles. Um, actually, before I set out to solve a puzzle, I should talk about the basic mechanics. There is walking left and right. There's looking around with your mouse. You can right click with your mouse to create a clone of you. Your clone will mimic your movements exactly, unless stopped by a wall or something else. If you run into your clone, you absorb them. You can have one, two, three, four clones. All at the same time, all doing exactly what you're doing. And, like I said, if you touch them, you absorb them. Now let's say you have a clone right here. And you want to get over there without moving. You can possess them, and you can switch between them by pointing and clicking with your left mouse button. This introduces a mechanic. Now right here, there is a gate. It requires 15 orbs to open. Right now I have 13 orbs. 
there's an orb right here. So, what I am trying to do is I'm trying to touch this orb with the player right here that I am controlling. A clone does not work. It has to actually be the person that you are controlling. Now, this brings up something interesting. The blue light. You cannot spawn a clone in blue light. Just doesn't work. You can spawn it anywhere else. Second it touches blue light, you can't spawn there. So, we have a dilemma, or we have a problem, okay? Hmm, how am I going to solve this? Problem solved. Now what you just saw there was a little bit of an advanced mechanic that isn't exactly discussed yet. I'll try this out in a slightly larger room. If you spawn a clone above you and then possess him... What? Oh. If you spawn a clone above you and then possess him... You can repeatedly do this and climb that way. It's very interesting. And as your clones hit the bottom, oh crap, um, as your clones hit the floor, oh no, not good. Um, as your clones hit the floor, they will die. And then you will regain the ability to use them again. <laughs> oh. So sad. It's kind of weird when you see just bodies falling out of the air. So you can climb up vertically that way. Another thing that you can do. Let's say you jump off a cliff right before you hit the ground. You spawn a clone and then possess him. Your old body will drop and die while you will survive. If a clone touches these bright shafts of light right here. They evaporate. And yeah, so that's the one of the mechanics of jumping and gaining altitude. What else? Alright, while you are picking where to spawn your copy, time has slowed down for you. This is very important because it allows you to pick precisely where you are going to place your copy. Alright, so now that that is discussed, let's go back to this puzzle. Alright. The red light blocks the ability to possess one of your copies. And the blue light uh, disables your ability to spawn a copy there. So I spawned a copy over here, right on top of the orb. But let's say if I want to possess him, the red barrier stops me. So that is a no-go. What I would do is I would then create a copy, possess him quickly, possess the other copy, and then just walk right on over. Puzzle solved. Apparently that orb was worth three orbs. Ooh, narrative. It took years of study to accept that they were alive. Not like we are, of course. They have no physical senses, no moving parts. Still, I find it hard not to wonder, can an electrical impulse in a rock really be considered a thought? So, the story is very deep. Um, I have not gotten very far. Apparently, these rocks that were found in space, I guess? It hasn't really been explained in the log files. There is quite a bit of lore and I don't really want to go through it because I consider that spoilers. But apparently these rocks are alive and they are causing everyone on this station to go completely insane. Absolutely nuts. And I just died. 
when you die, you hit the space bar, and you return to the entrance to the room where you came from. Pretty simple. Very forgiving. You're never really, really far away from... You're, you're never really far away from... A checkpoint. So, let's see. Um... Q. Hold Q. I just got access to this console here. So I'm gonna go ahead and... Ooh. Memory terminal. There's a memory terminal up here that I haven't gotten to yet. Let's read it. Abundant natural mineral deposits space station Theseus in orbit since 201 years. Notable discoveries include a more durable steel amalgam and an alien life form similar to an Earth silkworm. Primary research in years has been focused on what have come to be termed the Watchers, highly complex rock formations of unknown origin. Analysis of samples on board Theseus has revealed unusual electrical chemical activity within the structures, which may suggest something resembling rudimentary intelligence. So the rocks are known as the Watchers. The Watchers apparently are driving the crew insane. So, alright, that's fun. Uh, I think I just fell too far. Yep, I died. Alright, let's drop a copy right down here. There we go, we made it. I don't know what's going to happen if I hit this. Aw, oh, yeah. What is this? This is a giant door. I don't know if I want to know what's on the other side of it. You're in. Good. Ooh, the story. The only access to mine side now is via gravity control. From where you are, you should be able to access an airlock. You're going to have to take a spacewalk across the station exterior. Well, that's new. All right, let's see what the uh, this watcher. What, what do they have to say? What is thought? I think I know. It must have rules. We may not see the. N I can't pronounce that word. But we surely know they are the cause of thoughts. Some of us have grown crazy. Everything there is is thought. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, hold Q to bring up the map. Memory terminal. Long distance teleporter. There's no real goal stated. Alright, let's see what this terminal says. This morning, last year, a crew member disengaged the lockdown on the high security labs and relocated us all here. The labs are well shielded and the doors are sealed tight. Everyone's hoping we've not been followed here by whatever it is that's killing us. So it looks like there was some sort of incident where people went crazy and started killing. Probably having something to do with the Watchers. And I don't... Whoa. Hello. Where am I supposed to be going? Is my objective over here? No. I can only assume that my objective... Oh, the airlock. Duh. Okay, so I'll go through the airlock. Possibly. Looks like that's overgrown and I can't get through. I'll call down an elevator. Airlock. Let's go outside. Okay, we are now outside the station. This brings up a new mechanic that this is only the second time I've seen it. You have to fire your possession gun and it rotates you and propels you. And oh my god, this is ridiculously disorienting. Uh, what is that flashing thing? Okay, okay, where, where am I going? Oh god. What is going on? 
I think I'm going this way. Am I going the right way? Yes, the door is right here. Don't want to get hit by the space trash because I have a feeling that's going to kill me. Alright, so we have a teleporter here. Which means that now I can go to any other teleporter I've already discovered and activated. And I can quickly travel about the station. That looks ominous. You made it. Good show. Thank you. Dennett and I, we underestimated the Watchers. We have to stop them. Looks like gravity control's inactive. Get it online and come help me here. Anyways, okay, so now we have Dennett. I've never even heard of this man. Or woman? Man? I don't know. Head watchers, that is a lot of flavor text. Oh my gosh. I will read that later. Whoa. Airlock station exterior, gravity control, mind science laboratory. What? Anyways. You get the idea. There are puzzles to be solved with the clone mechanic. Oh, interesting. Since we are covered in blue light, I cannot spawn any copies. That is a very interesting thing indeed. Now what is this? Thirty orbs? Okay. Well, it looks like we have some more puzzles to solve. Can I just... F farts. Okay, well, let's go back to the teleporter. I'm going to solve another puzzle for you, just to, to give you another little bit of flavor. It appears that there are some puzzles over here that have yet to be solved. Uh, let's solve the one in Xeno Research. If there is indeed a puzzle here. This is where we developed the device in your hands. We looked at the way the watchers communicate and built a delivery system for it. To be frank with you, we didn't know what on earth it was at first. It turns out it swaps people's souls about. Obviously. Thus the name The Swapper. So... Puzzle? Give me a puzzle. I want a puzzle. Give me a puzzle. Puzzle? Okay, so, I mean, I guess this is a pretty good impression of the game. Some of the puzzles are very challenging, some of them not so much. Let's see if I can... F I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try one more puzzle. I'm gonna try to find one. Just for you, because I love you guys so much. Alright, this one looks like it's gonna be a little bit easier. Clearly, I've gotta put a clone right there. Possess him. Put one there. Back. No. Yeah, they just died. Okay. One up there. Go back. No! You suck. One person. Go up there. Kind of? No. That can't be it. Because then I would need to... Go to you. Go to you.
Okay, all right. Dang it. All right, I got this. I got this. I've got this one. But... Thought I had it. I didn't have it. Okay, they're going over the edge. Let's create another clone there. And another one. Up there. Possess it. Up there. Yes, no. You see what I'm trying to do though, right? It's so obvious right now. All the way up there, and go up there. Yes. Take control of you. Let's walk you down. Let's kill both of you. Awesome. And spawn you there, and take control. And I have one, two, three orbs. Fantastic. That was another solution to a puzzle. And I just totally screwed it up by falling. I don't know how. Anyways, anyways, guys, that is my quick look of this wonderful, wonderful game called The Swapper. It's available on Steam for $14.99 or your regional equivalent. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bacon. Out.